Hi, I'm Elle McNichol. Welcome back everyone to our last, our final, our ultimate lockdown writing class session. And I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm still gonna put videos up every now and then. I'm gonna talk about, you know, I'll be up, don't worry. And I'm thinking about doing a monthly video with like Roundup and book recs and all this kind of stuff. I will be back. Please subscribe, stick around. But this is our last in the lockdown writing class series. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Elle. I'm the author of A Kind of Spark and Show Us Who You Are, which is out on Thursday, the 4th of March, World Book Day, and I am so excited. And look, today we're just gonna do a really chill session. I'm wearing my blue cloud because um, I just filmed my World Book Day video. Um, we're doing today just putting it together and then a great book, re book recommendation at the end. And putting it together, I thought we could talk about our own writing rules. So I don't like people who lay down rules and say, this is how you have to write. This is the only way. I don't enjoy that. I don't think it's helpful because we're all so different. And the fact that, you know, if, if everybody had the same writing rules and the same experience, then we would have the same kind of books over and over again. And that's very dull. So I'm just going to talk about some rules that I find really helpful. And I would really like if you could make your own and write your own rules. You can take some of mine if you think that they they help you. But ultimately, it's your rule book that you have to write. So first in my rule book is never this I'm not being I'm not being funny never write on an empty stomach it's it's not a good idea have some snacks by you while you write that's my number one <laughs> first rule what's my second rule well we started back at the very beginning we talked about character I cannot start a draft even if it's just the first draft which is supposed to be terrible I cannot start that first draft unless I have a character I'm really in love with and I'm so excited that I'm finally able to start my third middle grade properly because now I have a really great vision and connection to the protagonist and the main character and I know who she is and I'm ready to start so that's rule number two for me have a character that you really really love rule number three have a villain or an antagonist that you also really love. I'm still finalizing mine for my third book, but I'm in such a better place than I was when we first started these classes because I'm actually trying to take my own advice and I love my, my villain and I just need to work out a little bit about their backstory and figure out a couple more things and then they're gonna be good to go. So a great character, a great protagonist and a great antagonist are two essential things I need and two rules I must follow before I start a draft. Four. Rule number four, the first draft. Rule number four for me is just get through that first draft. Don't go back and read. Don't take a minute and go, well, you know, if I'm putting my editorial, no, 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 no. No time for judgment, no time for the editorial voice. Get that first draft down. Word count doesn't even matter. Just get what feels right down. Just whatever the natural ebb and flow and the natural beats of the story are. You can have a synopsis, like I always have a synopsis before I start a first draft, but you just have to get from beat to beat to beat and get to the end. And don't worry about the word count. Don't worry about the presentation. Don't worry about the spelling or the grammar or any of that. That can all be fixed. Everything that you do can be fixed again and you can go back to the beginning and add things in that'll make you look really clever and like you know what you were doing the whole time but just get that first draft down that's probably the most important rule um that I could <laughs> ever think of and number five um write about something you care about that's what I always try and do have a point of view have a perspective have some kind of system of of integrity when you're writing where you you care about what you're the story you're telling you care about why this story is important it doesn't have to be didactic doesn't have to be you know a moral but just care about what you're saying even if that's something fun and silly just make sure that you really really care about it and number six is I mean we talked about this last week didn't we well last Friday we talked about uh, thank you but I didn't ask number six have your circle of friends, your feedback circle maybe, your confidants, your little group, their opinions count and no one else. Don't worry about outside voices because they just don't matter and they don't help. They don't help your creative process. A lot of people who have a lot of criticism to give and a lot of, you know, who find it very easy to be negative and be critical, they'll never know what it's like to create something. They'll never know what it feels like to be in the arena, you know, fighting the fight and telling a story and doing something scary and, and vulnerable and brave. They don't know what that's like. That's why it's easy for them to criticize. So have your circle and don't care what other people think. 
And that ultimately, those are my, my writing rules. And I'm really excited to know what yours are. We've talked throughout this entire session. I've tried to try to be objective and not, you know, get too, you know, I don't want to tell anyone how they have to write, but I've just given my tips. You know, we talked about cover and substance and subtext and theme and setting and dialogue and character and plot. We've done all of that and I'm going to leave those videos up for people to go back and revisit whenever they want. But um, yeah, I always just think character, 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 um, care about the story you're telling and be kind to yourself, get that first draft down and don't listen to negative people. Don't listen to people that tell you you can't do this or that you shouldn't do this there's no point and they're wrong. They're totally, totally wrong. And the reason that they keep saying that, the reason they keep telling you that you can't do it is because they want you to start telling yourself that. Then they won't even have to bother anymore because you'll be telling that to yourself. So don't ever tell that to yourself. Keep doing you because you are the only version of you and therefore nobody can write books like you. So that's an exciting thing to know and a good, a good place to start. So my last book crack in this short final video as we say goodbye for now, not forever, for now, is the wonderful I Am Not A Label by Kerry Brunel. Kerry is incredible and this book is, it should be in every school, it should be in every library, um, it's, it's beautiful as you can see and the illustrations by Lauren Baldo are so gorgeous. It's a book documenting all the many incredible disabled voices that, well some of the incredible disabled voices throughout history, artists, thinkers, athletes, activists from past and present. And it's just to show that, you know, never ever say never, never say I can't, uh, unless you want to, don't let other people ever say you can't. Um, I love Carrie so much and I love this book so much and it just makes my heart really happy. And I just thought, what better way to end this lockdown writings? You know, it's been two months of these classes. Thank you for sticking with it. And I think this book just kind of, captures everything I've been trying to say. It's non-fiction, you know, of course, but um, it really is all that, all that I care about. Um, so there's nothing left for me to say except get writing, put everything we've learned into that first draft and go, go, go and enjoy it. Be good to yourself. Thank you so much. And you know, if you haven't checked out my work, A Kind of Spark is out now and Show Us Who You Are is out in a few days time on World Book Day. And um, we are also nominated for the Blue Peter Book Award and we'll be finding out on World Book Day whether we won or not, fingers crossed. Um, and I am just so happy to have gone on this journey with you. So thank you so much, guys. Get writing and remember, thank you, but I didn't ask. You're all writers. You've started. That's it. There's no such thing as an aspiring writer. There's just people who write and that's you. So you're now writers. Thank you so much and have a really wonderful World Book Day. Bye.